Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna explore some basic kinds of stuff that come to us for free by Spring Actuator. These are Actuator endpoints. As you know, we've been playing with magic endpoint for a while. So besides that, there are many more other endpoints like audit events, bins, cache, etc. are auto configured for us. So each row here represents one endpoint and this is the endpoint ID. For so example, means is the ID of the endpoint. Okay, to make it clear, let's create a new project and we can see how it works and compare to the theory here. So we're gonna create a new actual third demo service. Let's start as that the spring.io. Then so I use Fredo with the 3.1.5. So the group V and Cloud. So I'll name it uh, actuator demo, then jar Java 17 and dependency, I think just web and actuator. Okay, so let's generate the project. Okay, then I'll pass it here. And chip. Desktop actual third demo run it. Okay, so what we're gonna have? So we have the actual third and web here. So just delete these folders for simplicity. Okay. Let's go ahead and run it. Let's see what we're gonna have by default. Okay, so we are exposing one endpoint actuator because of we have actuator as a dependency. Okay. So localhost ATAT actuator. So by default we have only health and help and point here so let's see only help and point is available so notice that I say available what does available mean an endpoint is considered to be available when it is both enable and export we need to distinguish enable and export so we can enable or disable each individual endpoint and export them through HTTP or GMS. So for the sake of simplicity, in this video, we only focus on HTTP or we can say web endpoint. So in order to make one endpoint sold on this page, we need first enable it and second export it. From HTTP endpoint perspective, as you can see, most of the endpoints are enabled by default. Okay, let's back here. Management endpoint and enable. So we'll see that most of the endpoints, not only the event, means catch are enabled by default you know see true 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 there's only so there's only shut down and points it disabled by default so it means that for the other endpoint except the shutdown endpoint we only need to expose them through the activity and it can be sold in the actual third page here okay so now let's go into expose some endpoint. So endpoint web exposure include. So as we can see here, you know, by default, there's only health endpoint is exposed, and the health endpoint is also enabled. So that's why we only see health endpoint here. So for example. 
if I want to change the help endpoint, I don't want to expose the help endpoint. I just want to expose the info instead. So I'll, I'll type here info. I'm going to restart the service. Okay, refresh this one. So now you see the info endpoints and the health info is no longer being sold in this page. So now I would like to info, I would like to help. Okay, I reload this one. So you see now we expose two endpoints. And again, uh, management endpoint. Enable and without S here and point enable. So most of them, so you know, C enforce is enable. So and ex expo health is also enable and it's expo as well. So they should okay, refresh this one. So let's sit up here here. I'm going to refresh this. Because now we have the health endpoint and the info endpoint. Okay. Let's say we want to enable all of the endpoint here, you know, of the vital endpoints that spring to support us. So we can use a star instead. So by type a star here, so we want to expose all of the endpoint. And let's see. I'm going to refresh this one. So we have beans, beans, cache, condition, anything here, bean cache, health, condition, some of the endpoints depends on the environment as well. So for example, you don't see the Rometheus here, right? Because uh, we need to have some dependency on Rometheus. So some of the endpoint is, and you see that we don't even see the shutdown here as well. Shutdown, I'm going to shut the shutdown. Because although we export all the endpoint, include the shutdown one but we haven't enabled it so let's go to enable the shutdown endpoint point shutdown enable true i'm going to restart this one and let's back to i would like to see the shutdown here so now you see that we now have the shutdown endpoint here. And yeah, this kind of dangerous uh, endpoint, we can actually you know, shut down the service using this uh, actual turn endpoint. Okay, so how about we want to have some, you know, some endpoint here, but you know, we, for example, we don't want to inform and have, but we want the other one by default. Okay, we can do it. So we can use the exposure include in combination with the exclude. exclude. So for example, I would like to get all the endpoint, but without info and help. Okay, so we don't need this shut down anymore. Okay, then let's double check. So now, can I find help here? So without help endpoint, with help, yeah, and info as well. So now, how about I don't want to use Actutor as the base bus for all the endpoint here. I would like to change it to something like measurements for example so we can do it as well by for example management and 
Void eh, Void Web Made bad So instead of actual turn now I want to change mess Messment Okay, let's see Okay So see now everything is drained from actual turn to maintenance Management being minimum cached conditions. Okay, how about the endpoint ID as well? So, for example, I don't want to, you know, have the endpoint name info. I just want to rename it like info check or something or health check. So, how I can do that? Let back, so we need all the endpoint, and we want to add endpoint web path mapping. Then we are going to map our help endpoint to help check. Okay, then going to restart one so there's some configuration that we can play with to change the actual turn endpoint then let's refresh this one so now we're going to have the health check in four so the health check is also do its functionality we can also create our old endpoint although you know I haven't done it by myself because I think you know the endpoints that actual tour provides us is over than enough but maybe if you're interested in creating a new endpoint actual tour endpoints you can try to do this so we can for example I can find rating Rating endpoint. I'll name it rating actual third endpoint because I want to register this endpoint into the actual third. Right? I want to register this endpoint under this list so I can add endpoint here and component then in this endpoint we need to give it a name an ID endpoint ID so this ID is, is going to be rating and it have some function I would like to have a record okay message string message Okay, uh, hello. Then I'm going to return a message hello world. Okay, then I'm going to add a uh, read operation. That's it. Then let's try to see our new endpoint here. Then rating. So now I can register my old actual tour endpoint into this list. Rating and hello world. That's good. And we can have another thing to do it by because we are using web MVC, right? Uh, we can have another thing to do it. So like we can create a rest controller, you know, rest controller, controller endpoint as well. So I'm name it the thing rest controller endpoint 
and same as we did with the rating actual turn and point in this one we can also we need component and we need uh, rest controller and point so we can see that it's from the actual turn packet as well controller as point and it's also need the ID as well you can yeah one thing to remember you can also see the property that's enabled by default right so by default anything we created is enabled it's true so that's why we only need to export it through this property so for example if you don't for example I only uh, export info and health so we can only see the info and health here so we cannot see the rating so for even for the our old actual envoy we need to export it as well so for this one I'm going to export rest uh, rating for example and then get mapping public I'm going to copy this one it's good okay no no is this okay hi for example to make it a little bit different okay then I'm going to restart the application and let's see here okay now I only have the health check and the info so we create our old actual and boy but we also need to export it here it's already enabled uh, so we only need to expose okay routine okay run it okay, refresh this one so now we have our routine return hello world and rest routine it's going to return hi world so that's it for the video today hope you can learn something especially for me the other endpoints are very useful when config props you know the config prop here beans here sometimes it's, uh, you can check it on runtime right squad map spin as well little base yeah so most of them are you know really useful and I hope you can learn something new and thanks you for watching this video and hope to see you in the next video happy cutting